Here's designer Kasia Walazic with where to save and where to splurge when you're decorating a kid's bedroom. Are you a busy mom in need of some inspiration for your kid's room? Let me share some ideas with you to jumpstart your next design project. My design plan for Izzy's bedroom was simple. It included soft textures, soft colors, and most importantly, amazing storage. Because I'm a mom and a designer, I didn't let the small footprint be a challenge. A lot of people think because you have a small space, you can't fit a lot in. That's not true. It just takes a little creativity. I was able to fit in a bed with a trundle, a full-size dresser, storage for her stuffies, a swing, which is a different zone for her to hang out in, and floating bookshelves, a closet, and let's not forget, amazing decor. Let me talk you through what I did. I splurged on the wall mural. That room really needed a big statement, and that's exactly what it got. I introduced a beautiful mural that injects texture and color, and it just makes the room so relaxing. I saved on drapery. Custom drapes can be extremely expensive. Who wants to spend their money on that? So instead, I opted for ready-made panels, some no-sew tape, and fun pom-pom fringe. I simply ironed it on, and they have a brand new custom look. I also saved on Izzy's trophy shelf. Trophy shelves and hooks can be extremely expensive. Instead, I used a simple picture ledge that I installed upside down. I grabbed some stick-on hooks, and now she has a beautiful confidence corner. Storage in a kid's bedroom has to be functional, and it has to be there. They come with so much stuff. My daughter, for example, loves slime. I needed a spot for that, so I used a simple command hook with a hanging basket, and now all her slime gets stored in there, keeping her dresser nice and neat. An insider designer tip for a small space is think vertical. You can add in so much storage just by getting creative. For her books, I didn't want to introduce a bookshelf. It would really cram the room too much. So instead, I introduced floating shelves where the books are displayed vertically. For the closet, it is quite small in size. So I ended up doing two levels for her where she's able to display her sweaters and sweatshirts and t-shirts on two multi-levels. So she's actually got quite a bit of space. important thing about Izzy's bedroom is that not only I love it, but she loves the way that it turned out. Wow, please welcome Kasha. Kasha, how's it going? Good, how are you, Mary? I am doing so well. I'm especially excited because we have a special guest here today. We do. Is this Izzy? That is my daughter, Izzy. Oh my gosh, Izzy, hey. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Fantastic. Um, what do you think of your new bedroom? I love it. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like designing and DIY like your mom does? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And how old are you? <laughs> 11. Oh, what an excellent age, grade six, right? Yeah. Nailed it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so excited. Your bedroom looks so beautiful. Thank you. No worries. Now, Kasha. Yes. We wanted to talk a little bit more because that bedroom was so amazing. But Thank you got you. some additional ideas for us. Absolutely. Yeah. You can customize anything, especially in the kids' room, and you can get so playful and fun with it. Yeah. So, like I added the pom-pom fringe to the curtains, mm -hmm. you can also do the same to cushions. <gasps> and all you need is a ready-made cushion sham, and that just elevates the look. Yeah. So it adds in that little bit of customization. Totally. So we're gonna start off with a cushion sham. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna have some pom-pom fringe, which okay. is what I have here, mm -hmm. and some no-sew tape. This is amazing. I get this at Ikea, mm -hmm. super affordable, and you don't have to pick up a needle and thread, which, which I makes love. it yeah. so much more fun because <laughs> it's so easy. So what you're gonna do is when you grab your no-sew tape mm -hmm. and, you and you find out that it's actually much thicker than the actual pom-pom tape, you mm -hmm. can simply trim it down. Okay. Once it's trimmed down, you're just gonna put it on the outside of the cushion. Mm -hmm. And Mary, if you can grab 
the iron. Oh, this is spooky. Okay, cool. And you're simply going to, like, I already have some taped down here, okay. so you can see that it's taped down. Yeah. And then you're simply going to press and iron it on. If you're worried about your iron perhaps getting dirty mm -hmm. from the actual tape, mm -hmm. you can grab a cushion cover okay. and simply go through the cushion to transfer it on. Something that you're not going to use anymore and that you wouldn't get upset if you got a little bit of glue on it. Okay. And then it simply goes on. So I've got a finished product right here. <gasps> and look how... Look at how cute this is! Right? Uh, how instantly little pom-poms can change around a cushion cover. Yeah. And I quickly want to show you the back because you would think that maybe it looks raw, but it actually looks quite lovely in the back as well. It's beautiful. It almost looks crocheted. Right? Mm -hmm. Super washable. If you find anything peels off eventually over time you can simply just add more and start over oh my gosh that is fantastic Thank Kasha. You. i love Thank that you. it's so cute all right now moving on if you want to talk a little bit kids have a lot of things so much right Izzy? yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of interest you're still like figuring out what you love right <laughs> yeah okay so you want to talk about vertical storage vertical storage especially in a small space mm -hmm. you want to take storing stuff vertically yeah clear the space on the floor so you have more room to play perfect thing to do is install pegboards. Mm. I absolutely love pegboards. A lot of people think that pegboards can only, you know, be used in an office or a garage. Mm -hmm. Use them in a kid's room because you can customize them to whatever your child's hobbies are. Yeah. For example, you can see that I've got Lego stored in these ones and crayons. Mm -hmm. If your child loves Legos, you can do 20 of these on different pegboards all up on the wall, perhaps color coordinated, so everything has its place to basically get stored. Yeah. Same thing with crayons. You can use, you know, the little elastic hooks to store paper or books or even stuffies. Okay, now speaking of um, that type of storage, you were saying this is usually you think of this in an office. Right. But you're kind of telling us to think outside the box. Absolutely. Yeah. Think outside the box when it comes to kids' storage, especially because kids' storage tends to be extremely expensive, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Very expensive. Why spend the money when you can just look in different departments? Mm -hmm. For example, storing books vertically where you're actually showing the front covers of them and using a spice rack instead. These are spice racks for under $10 yeah. that you can use to store books, paint, even stuffies. These come in a natural, they're from Ikea, they come in a natural wood and you can even paint them to customize and work with your child's decor. So you and your child can have a little DIY session going on. Yeah and then display display your books. That's fantastic. Now, what's going on over here? So, vertical storage again, over the door hangers. Be mindful of those. Mm -hmm. If you have a closet or even the entry door to the actual room, utilize that for storage. It's space. Again, it's space that's there. Yeah. So I've got a great over the door organizer here. This is from Umbra, and what I love about this one is that it comes with 14 different hooks on it. Wow. So you can really customize it, and you can see it comes in different rows so your child can reach certain ones, yeah. but you can use it like I have here for headbands, hats, even a backpack. There's another organizer here over the door hanger, quite lovely as well, very modern, I very chic. Say, yeah. Honestly, if your children are done with it, just move it out into the main hallway because- It looks like art, right? Yeah. It will go with it. You can even multiply these, but hang stuff from your doors. Fantastic, I love that. Now, what about this? When I'm not gonna lie, when I saw you painting this wall black, yes. I was like, what are we doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> chalk paint. Yeah. Chalk paint is, again, a wonderful feature to add in a, in a child's bedroom yeah. because you can let your children express themselves. What I absolutely love is using frames that don't have the glass or the matting in them, taking that out and simply just using the frame. Mm -hmm. Putting that on a chalk wall and allowing your child to paint their own masterpiece inside mm -hmm. that's beautifully framed in a beautiful frame after. And it just looks fantastic. Yeah. Also, hanging art. We all know children love to do arts and crafts mm -hmm. and you feel so guilty tossing it away in the yeah. recycling bin. Yeah. I've never done that, Izzy, ever. <laughs> 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 but what's really great is I've used a curtain wire rod here. Oh, cool. So this is meant for curtains, but instead I used it for art, and it comes with the little clips. So it's a really great way, if you're painting something, to be able to clip it and just let it dry, or if you're drawing something, to simply display it. That's fantastic. And Izzy, you did this, right? <laughs> when you were in grade four? Yeah. This is so good. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. That one's never going yeah. away. That's always staying on the wall, for sure. <laughs> That's beautiful. Now, what about... Um, Multifunctional furniture. Multifunctional, I love, love, mm. love, love multifunctional furniture. Introduce pieces into the space that will work, but will also work double duty mm -hmm. and will work in another room. So what we have here is if you're in need of something that's a piece of furniture, go with something that's a little bit more open. Something like the Bellwood collection here, that's from Umbra. Mm -hmm. It's um, 
just a little bookshelf, but it's open, so it's not gonna close in the room. Yeah. That, again, will work someplace else, but you can display books on there, boxes, lights, anything that you want, so it's a really great way to keep the room still nice and airy. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, that little storage unit down below. Yes. I absolutely love this because it works like a nightstand. It works like a seat, mm -hmm. but Mary, if you take off the cover, it's also got storage underneath. Ooh. So you can use blankets and put stuffies in there or anything that your child has a hobby. It just kind of store it away. Plus, if you have company coming over and you need extra seating in the living room, grab that and put it in the living room because it looks great. No one's gonna be like, this is from the kids' room. Absolutely yeah. not, yes. <laughs> that is fantastic. And speaking of stuffies, we've got these cute little guys in here. Look at how cute these are. Well, just in case you're looking for a little bit of help to help you decorate your kid's space, thanks to IKEA, you're all getting a gift card and one of these adorable space-themed stuffed animals. <laughs> from the hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.